It's the end of November. Tomorrow it's gonna be 1st of December, which means I can go through all of my data for my full capsule wardrobe. As you know, I tracked it for the last 90 days and today I'm gonna tell you what I learned. As usual, I'm gonna tell you which items I wore the most and which items I wore the least. So when it comes to tops, I have my white bodysuit that I wore one time, I have my orange jumper that I wore one time, I have my polka dot button up that I wore one time, I have a black short sleeve turtleneck that I wore one time and a black short cardigan that again I wore only once. Then for my most worn items I have my black really fun sleeve top that I wore four times. I have my white fitted cami that I wore five times. I have a white denim jacket that I wore six times, a black turtleneck that I wore eight times, a black long tee that I wore nine times, and a black long cardigan that I wore 11. And everything in between I wore two to three times. So what are my lessons here? First is that the smaller selection is better. If I remember correctly, I had more items in spring. Let me just double check. Yeah, I had 30 items in spring and for fall I had 24 tops. So I just had six less and that made a huge difference for me. So when I opened the wardrobe, I didn't feel like I have too many options. So that's definitely the first lesson that less is better. And then the second lesson that I learned is again, the same one as I had with spring. And that is that I have too wide of a selection. So I can have really thin items that I wear in the beginning of all, and then really heavy turtlenecks that I wear at the end. And I just personally don't love to have so many items that I wear only once or twice. I really want to have a capsule wardrobe where my least worn items I wear let's say three times in that three months. But if nothing else this makes me really excited to build my first six month capsule wardrobe. I'm gonna do it in the middle of April. I think this makes most sense for the weather and then I'm gonna switch it again in the beginning of October or maybe in the middle. It's gonna depend on the weather but this is my plan and all of the data confirms that yes, trying a six month capsule wardrobe can be a really great idea. And now if you go through my bottoms, my least worn items are my black high-waisted trousers that I wore zero times. I have my white trousers that again I wore zero times, a black mini skirt that I wore once, denim skirt that I wore three times, black casual pants I wore three times and white straight jeans I wore four times. And then my most worn items were my black high-waisted jeans that I wore six times, black joggers I wore seven times and my medium wash high-waisted jeans I wore 13 times. And all of the four pieces in the middle I wore five times exactly. So what does this tell me? The first thing that I can see is that I'm scared wearing white pants. <laughs> I can see my white jeans I wore four times, my white trousers I didn't wear once because I'm afraid to get them dirty. And this is just something that I kind of have to get over it if I'm completely honest because there is no other reason why I would not wear them except for I don't want to get them dirty, it's fine, I'm gonna wear something else. But I truly am a believer that we should dress and feel our best and when we buy things we should wear them until we destroy them. I can see my husband, he's so carefree and I love that about him. He buys something like beige pants or a white jumper and he just wears it all of the time and it gets dirty, yeah, sooner or later, but he doesn't really obsess over the details. He takes good care of the items, but nothing special. So for me, the lesson is that when I go into the bottom drawer and I wanna reach something white out, that I don't stop myself, that I don't pause. And if I want to wear something white, I'm gonna wear it. I can be a little bit careful. I mean, if it's raining and it's really dirty outside, that's fine, but for most of the occasion, that's something that I really wanna allow myself to do because I personally love white. And then for all of the other bottoms, I'm actually really, really happy with my choice, with my decision. Yes, I wear my special occasion item a little bit less, but for me, I'm not gonna declutter those because they have, you know, a special place in my wardrobe. So I would say that I have good amount of items. I have 15 items in total, that's good enough for me. And except for not wearing white items, everything else I'm really happy with. And now to the dresses, I only had four. So my least worn item is a dress that I'm wearing today and this is the first time that I'm wearing it <laughs> the entire fall. So I just wore it once. Then I have my black bodycon dress that I wore two times. I have my black maxi dress that I wore two times and a floral black dress that I wore two times. So for me dresses, I think I said that before in my spring video and that is that I don't really wear loads of dresses in transitional weather because I I don't find them so easy to style. 
I love dresses in the summer, I love them in the winter, but just in the middle, it's just, I feel a little bit tricky to wear them, but now it's getting cooler and I can see that I'm already wearing loads more dresses, which I know it's counterintuitive to some, but for me, it makes sense. So for dresses, I don't have any special lessons here. I don't need to buy anything for the transitional season. What I have is good enough. And now for my jackets and also blazers because I do wear blazers as jackets in the fall. So I have my black silver blazer that I wore once. I have my white blazer, I wore it once. I have my black blazer with gold buttons that I wore two times. Faux leather jacket I wore four times. Trench coat seven times. White wool coat eight times. Faux fur coat nine times. And a black wool coat 19 times. Which I said this before, but I'm nailing it with my jackets and coats. I really love my selection. And in the spring, I had the realization that I'm not wearing my blazers enough because I have them upstairs. So now I put them downstairs and it made a difference. I wore them just a little bit more. And also, I wasn't sure about my leather jacket, if I should declutter it or keep it. And now I can see that I wore it four times, but that's not the only data that I'm considering. I also remember the outfits. I love them because I wore them more in the early fall. I love the looks that I created. So an update is that I'm gonna keep my faux leather jacket. I love that this time around. And then my wool coats, I mean, these are just amazing. I'm not sure how fun this video is gonna be because I feel like I'm just nailing everything. <laughs> okay, now to my shoes. I had nine pairs of shoes in total. So my least worn shoes were my black ankle booties that I wore zero times. Then I had black over the knee boots with a heel that I wore once, nude wedges I wore once, taupe over the knee boots I wore once, black wedges two times, faux leather ankle booties nine times, Ugg boots I wore nine times, leather over the knee boots I wore 14 times, and white sneakers I wore 30 times. From this data, I can see that buying the new leather, faux leather ankle booties with a smaller heel was really a good idea because I wore them nine times. I really enjoyed the looks. I really enjoyed the outfits. They were really comfortable. And because I got those, I didn't really reach for my old pair that have a higher heel because like I said, I wore them zero times. So for me, I'm thinking that I can potentially declutter these shoes or put them in time will tell kind of box. And then I can see if I would miss them. But honestly, I think I can declutter them. Also another thing that I already mentioned before, and that is that the higher the heel, the less I wear the shoes. I already knew that before. This is not a new revelation for me, but at the same time, I still enjoy high heels. Right now, my life is a little bit more casual, but in the future, I do have a plan to kind of be a little bit more social. So I don't want to declutter all of these heels quite yet. And I did wear them at least once. So for me, that's good. And now to bags, which I have fun data. I had to get nine bags in total. So my least worn items are my backpack that I wore zero times, a coral bag I wore zero times, red bag I wore only once, tote bag two times, pink bag two times, nude bag three times, pulling bag 17 times, choke bag I wore 19 times, and my black leather bag I wore 23 times. This was so surprising to me because this is I think the first time that I have my choke bag in my collection and I just wear it so much. I wore it, like I said, 19 times. And I honestly didn't expect that I would love the bag so much, but you know, it just makes sense. I love my neutrals. So this makes me realize that having a neutral lighter bag without any noticeable hardware, it was a really good decision that I added something like this in my wardrobe. I'm not sure if I would have to add anything similar. I think this one kind of scratches the edge, but it's just good to know. And then maybe you notice that I wore my tote bag two times this time around. And maybe you think that that made me change my mind, <laughs> that I'm now gonna keep it. But no, when I wore it two times, those two times, I was actually convinced to now completely declutter it and sell it. So this is the official and final undecluttering the tote bag because I only wore it when I went filming to my mom's place and then to my sister's place. And I need to take, you know, the camera and the microphone, all of the equipment. I didn't have anything else. I put stuff in there. It was raining. So I had to, you know, cover everything or put the raincoat, the bag raincoat on top. And it was just, I didn't like the experience at all. And that made me realize I need something specifically for my camera. So I bought this Leo bag. It's not a handbag. <laughs> it's just a nice camera bag. So if I'm going somewhere where I'm gonna film, I can take my camera, my microphone, all of the things that I need 
in this little thing and then I can have just on my normal bag and that tote bag I can completely completely declutter I really don't enjoy using it and sometimes when you're not sure about something you just have to wear it and then it clicks that no this is not it anymore and this is what happened with the tote bag then for my coral bag I wore it zero times that was not surprising because coral is not really a full color for me but what was surprising is that I wore red bag only once but I know that in the winter I'm gonna wear it so much more because I have the scars with all of the red details and yeah I just thought I'm gonna wear it more but you know nothing special here I still love all of the other bags and lastly we have the accessories but before I share all of the data if you're enjoying this video please give it a thumbs up it really helps me out Thank you. <laughs> I have the entire assortment of categories here, but I'm just gonna go from my least worn to my most worn. My least worn item was actually uh, a silk scarf that I wore zero times. Then I have my white gold belt that I wore one time. Plum scarf I wore once, leather gloves once, black wool hat three times, white silver belt three times. Then I have a tan belt that I wore four times, pink scarf I wore four times, stone scarf I wore five times, Thane scarf I wore seven times, white scarf nine times, black silver belt 11 times and black gold belt 21 times. So this is really interesting and I think this is the first time that I have all of my scarves out at the same time because I usually divide them into fall scarves and spring scarves and winter scarves but I really wanted to see what I wear if I have everything out and what I'm surprised to see is that my fall scarf I didn't wear it once so for me this is a good lesson that I can completely declutter it honestly I was wearing all of my other cashmere warm winter scarves and they were just great they worked great and I personally don't think that I need that kind of a transitional scarf in my wardrobe I had a baby pink one that I already sold I also had something like a white scarf that I also sold so this one is the last one that it's lighter and this is the lesson for me that I don't need lighter or silk scarves in my collection for me cashmere winter scarves is more than enough this is really fun I mean that's why I love analyzing because you can really learn a lot then for everything else I'm not really surprised. I mean, these are accessories. I just wear them as much as I want to. It depends on the mood and not every season is the same. So for everything else, I'm really happy how much I wore everything. So this is my little update. And if you wanna see my entire full capsule wardrobe, I will link another video here that you can watch next. Thank you for watching today and I'll see you next time.